Where are we going? Let me get my microphone. In every way, you're part of me. All I am, all I'll ever be. If I'm weak, when I should be strong, you're my strength to carry on. What's so wrong? Wishing that's the way it could be. Yeah. I wish you were real instead of make believe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hey, y'all like that little 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 tune I just kicked off? Yeah. It's hard to sing with these masks on. Cause you know, when you're singing, you gotta you gotta control your breathing and everything, you know? And then you got this mask on and you try to blow a note, you can't blow a note. All right, you know. Hey, look, uh, you know, just for the record, my wife, she, I'm going to tell her right, I'm going to tell her right now. All right, this song was for you, all right? Because I know she's going to say, mm-hmm, and who was you singing that to? Now, I'm serious. She, I know it. That's why, that's why I'm putting that out there right up front, because that's what she's going to say. As soon as you see it. I remember back in the days, I keep saying back in the days to y'all, but when I was a young man, I wanted to be, you know, I used to perform a little bit. I used to sing on stage, really, to be honest with you. And, man, I remember one time, and you know, I remember one time I was singing, right? And I forget what song I was singing. And uh, this, see, my voice is like, ain't like, you know, I'm out of practice and all that, you know, ain't squeezed the lemon and all that stuff like that. But anyway, when I was singing on stage, man, I hit this note, you know. Oh, or something like that. All of a sudden I heard, wow. Tables were knocking over. I heard glasses. The table tablecloths being pulled off the table. This was like in a club. And you know, like when you're singing on stage, if you if anyone out there ever been performing, you know, like when you're on stage, the lights are shining on you, right? So it's it's bright in your eyes because they got the the lights shine on this on you on this while you're on the stage. You can't really see the audience. All you see is silhouettes. You know, because it's dark. You know, like the audience is dark. So this is this is a club where they had, you know, tables and stuff. You know, everybody's sitting, you know, they were chilling on their drinks and their appetizers and stuff, right? You know, some of them ordered a little meal, some of them. Anyway, man, I, I'm serious. This no, all of a sudden I heard some, 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 the heck is that? Going to Godzilla or something? I don't know. And I'm singing. I'm trying to see what was that. And I heard commotion. All of a sudden, it got clear. This big fat woman, man, I ain't lying. She jumped up on stage and was coming at me. And you know, I ain't got no look. I got love for fat women. I ain't you know saying fat women. You know, all, everybody. You know, I might say fat. Brothers, I got brothers, some brothers, some black men like big girls and some, you know, not just black men, you know, men period, you know, some like them thick, meaty, and some like them, you know, whatever, you know, I'm not, I ain't down in big girls. Well, this time, man, this girl was coming at me, she was a big one. 
She was a whopper. And she came up, and it was like, it happened so fast, because I'm going to tell you, big girls will fool you. Not just big girls, big people, period. You might think, because they got like that weight on them and stuff like that, that they can't, that they can't move fast. You a lie. They can move fast. And she was coming full speed. She, she grabbed me. And when she grabbed me, she squeezed all the air out of me. She was just like, like that. She's like, ah! And when she did that, I had the microphone in this hand, and the microphone, my son, he heard this story many times. The microphone, my hands went like that, because she grabbed me like, like that, and that, and when I went like that, the microphone went, Choo! it ejected like a rocket. It just, Choo! then it hit near the amplifier system, you know, that, because it was getting feedback, it was, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, you know. So, you know, the, 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 the people at the place, you know, the bouncers or security or whatever, they grabbed her. And she was like, oh, oh my goodness, oh my God, oh. Uh, you know what, I appreciate, you know, you know, being appreciated like that, you know. You know, I, I should have felt like I was a superstar or something, you know. But man, my style was blown. I ain't look cool no more. I thought I was cool up there singing, you know. But I'm gonna tell you, it takes a lot of guts to get up and sing in front of a lot of people. And she grabbed, man, she was all sweaty and stuff, man. I guess cause it was, I don't know. Me slapping me in the face. <laughs> Man, it was like it was a bitch. She was a big girl, big woman. I'm like, damn, man, why can't a little smaller babe get up here and jump up here and do that? <laughs> nah, I just I didn't want nobody period to do that because you know you're in the middle of your performance and stuff like that, and then you got somebody jumping up on the stage. I'm just glad somebody throw their funky drawers up there at me. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to get no funky drawers in. No, can you imagine I'm singing a funky draw just coming and hanging on my microphone? Man, nah. Nah, just take, uh-uh. I seen that at clubs, man. You know what I mean? At the shows, women, you know, the singer be hitting that song. So they might just take off their drawers and throw them on the stage at them. Hey. Shoot, these days you get men draws thrown at you. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, anything on these days, man, you can you be singing at a club, man, thinking you be swimming with the women and stuff like that. <laughs> and then gonna pair of fruit of the moon fly up there, man. <laughs> Tidy whiteies. With skin marks in them. <laughs> that be on the stage, man. Nah, man. That be messed up, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I ain't can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. <laughs> oh, man. Nah. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know? That's what happened. She tackled me, man, like a linebacker. No? Like a lion's man. It's like I said, I ain't trying to crack on the woman's weight and nothing like that, but dang on that, I was so, I mean, I was ticked off, you know, because there was some fine looking women in the, in, in, the, in the club. I was trying to impress, impress too. You know, I was a single man back then. You ain't that wife? I was a single man back then. So when he's talking to me, uh, you don't gotta talk about your old girlfriend and all that. It ain't my girlfriend. These, this actually happened. So, they pulled off the stage and stuff like that, you know? And, uh, you know, God, you know, and Cole Capone, something that told him, like, you know, I, I just heard him, like, say something like, look, you know, you, you, need, to, you need to, you know, compose yourself, either do that or leave. Man. When I after that, man, I went, 
after I finished that set, you know, there was other performers at this club. You you had your you had your singers and then you had your comedians. So it was, it was a you know it was, you know it was it was several singers, several uh, uh, entertainers, uh, um, singers, and you know of course they had the comedians and stuff, you know, and uh, and that's what you know it says you know. So anyway, we were in the bathroom. And God, why did I end up in the bathroom with the daggone comedians? Man. Hello, yo, man. How'd it feel? What are you talking about how it feel? You get all that loving. <laughs> That's a lot of loving. I said, man, ain't no loving, man. She messed me up up there. Like the phone falling and dropping all over the place. Man. Oh man, you know you like that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> big, 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 big time lover over here. Man, man, that was messed up. Up there calling me the overweight lover in the house. Man. Anyway. After that, I I think I did something else, a couple of sets at that club after that, but I was like on the lookout, I hit a note, uh, I was paranoid, so I only did a couple of sets, you know, after that, I ain't, I ain't seen no more at that club, they didn't even have control over their daggone customers, in the audience, man, you think I was, people were Bryce and Marvin Gaye or somebody like that, Oh, you know, that was the singers back in the day. Y'all probably, some of y'all out there probably wouldn't know nothing about the, those type of singers, you know? Man. So anyway, that's how I used to do it back in the days. You know? I, you know, I took on a, you know, that was my dream at one time. And you can probably see my voice a little rusty right now or whatever, you know? But yeah, I used to, I used to blow a note or two, you know? tools and stuff, you know, but that was, that was it, you know, and then I moved, I moved to, you know, I, we used to tour city to city and stuff, like, like, it was like, well, actually, it was, I started out in a group, and then I should have just stayed with the group, because see, if I was with the group, my, the other members would have seen her coming, and they probably grabbed her before she got to me, but no, I call myself going solo, because we got into a disagreement, and it's always about money. And I'm like, man, forget y'all, man. I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go on my own. You know, you gonna go on your own, right? I said, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You know? Cause I was like, you know, I was an alto, I used to sing alto, you know what I'm saying? I did a little bit of falsetto, but mostly, you know, alto in my song, my music. And my dream was one day, you know. Anytime, you know, clubs had an open and stuff like that, I was like, yo, yo. I should have stuck with it, but see, you know what? When children come and stuff like that, you know, you got a choice to either continue with your dream and 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 be absent with your children or be there for your children and be your dad, you know. So I chose the latter, you know, be my children and be a dad. I have no regrets. You know? You know, I have a daughter, you know, I got three colors. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of them too, you know? They're my heart. But yeah, that's the story. That is a true story. I am not making that up. I know I said that before, you know, in another video that I'm not making up. And it's the truth. I'm not making, I'm not making this stuff up. That actually happened. There was this one guy, <laughs> They used to perform. I don't even know why the club had him. He was a dancer. And his name was Bonehead. <laughs> and you know, near the stage, they had like, they like on the side of the stage, they had these poles, you know, these be the, the hold up the, I guess, you know, for the building, whatever. And this one particular club. And Bonehead used to do a dance and a snap night. And then Bonehead would, would, I ain't know how he did it though. He used to run off the stage, dive, like in a dive, dive form, 
grab the pole, swing around, and whip himself back on the stage. That dude was acro that acrobatic. Man. Yeah, bonehead, that's what he used to do. But anyway, those days, those are the good days, man. You know. The, the good old, not old L-O-D, but the good old L-O-E days. Man, it's the mask, man. I don't know what's up with this mask. See, I don't want to show my big nose. I got a big nose. Man, my nose, I got, it ain't a Bill Cosby nose, but it did. Look at my nose. See, I'm, I'm, really, I'm showing my nose. Don't I look different? 